Hello, I'm Professor Tim Spector from the Zoe Health Study, and this week I'm taking a break, as you can see, from my holidays in France to give you a short update on the latest health news and what we're currently investigating with the Zoe Health Study app. I'll share an update on the monkeypox and coronaviruses, as well as giving you some initial feedback on our uh, high blood pressure research, as well as an exciting study we're going to be launching with all of you so everyone can get uh, involved. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I shared the news with you about monkeypox that the WHO had declared it a global health emergency. So what's, what's new? Um, basically, cases are growing worldwide, 27,000 confirmed cases so far, still mostly in men having sex with other men. Now, 88 countries worldwide, so it's, it's global. And people are asking, well, can it be stopped? And, and, and the short answer is yes, absolutely. It's not as infectious as its deadly cousin smallpox or even COVID. It really needs uh, close, prolonged contact and 95% infections are actually acquired through sex. So we already have vaccines that are effective in stopping the spread of it. And these are about 85% effective against monkeypox. And you can still uh, get vaccines free from uh, clinics in the UK if you fall into these high risk uh, groups. Um, and the uh, other thing we need to realize is that um, the symptoms are mild, it starts with feeling unwell, flu like symptoms, a bit like COVID, feel generally unwell and tired. Um, and it's that early stage where people don't realize what they have before you get the lesions on the skin, that it can be unwittingly spread. And the good news is that the, the increased infections we were seeing a couple of weeks ago seems to have leveled off, but they're still around 35 a day. And uh, but the rest of the world are taking off in, in, uh, in much greater than that. The death rate, it's good to know, is still pretty low at three to six percent. And although there have been a, a few cases in children and women, they don't seem to have started their own uh, outbreaks, uh, which is good news. Now, the risks may change with time, as like we've seen with COVID, the, the virus mutates. Uh, and so therefore, it's really important all of us to stay aware of it. It's not something that's just going to go away and realize that um, the rash is probably the most characteristic thing to look for. And uh, you may have had it in the past and it could end up just with a lot of bad scarring. Um, we're still monitoring it on our Zoe app for any increase in symptoms, particularly looking at uh, facial rashes, et cetera. And, uh, but it's still too rare to actually gather data on everybody, but we're keeping an eye on it. So going back to COVID, in case you'd forgotten, uh, it's tumbling. Rates are really coming down. Many of you I know will have been infected in the last month, um, but all regions, all age groups, it's coming down now at 124,500 new cases a day. That's still massive, uh, but it's a drop of 46% uh, from where we were um, two weeks ago. And it still means one in 26 people have the virus, as I'm sure you know, but that's down from one in 16. Uh, looking like it's gonna keep going down. And so in two weeks time, it's gonna be much lower. Hopefully we're gonna have August and September uh, that are gonna be relatively light on COVID, but all the predictions are that it's gonna uh, pop back up in October. We'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, what about the symptoms? We, we know that these are now due to the Omicron BA5, which is the predominant uh, variant at the moment. And uh, interestingly, the, the new vaccine that's been suggested for the autumn is going to focus on Omicron BA5, and we'll see how that plays out. Um, this is the new symptom list, and you can see that Number one is still sore throat by quite a long way, followed by headache, uh, dry cough, blocked nose, runny nose. This 
is really just changing only slightly. So we're seeing sore throat going up in the rankings and we're seeing things like fever, uh, loss of smell dropping slightly. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. And we're also getting reports of people uh, getting bursts of symptoms when, the, when they thought they'd got over it. So a few weeks after the main symptoms, getting some sort of recurrence. And it's hard to work out whether this is a, a new variant that's affecting them or uh, the old variant still staying in the body and coming back and, and upsetting them. So we could try and get more data on that for you because definitely uh, a lot of people getting what they think are multiple episodes of COVID within a couple of months. Now I want to talk about high blood pressure or hypertension as it's, as it's called. Um, this is something you can all get involved with. It's one of the most common conditions in the Western world. Uh, most people over 50 uh, will know someone or suffer from it themselves. And we, we, we're launching this brand new study that's open to everybody and ha seeing how it relates to health. So do look out in your inbox for the invitation instructions about how to take part. And it's not just filling in a questionnaire. You're going to have to do a bit of work yourself, uh, but uh, really important and should help everyone's knowledge about high blood pressure. And we did some initial analysis on those that already know they have high blood pressure um, and see what symptoms they're reporting. And interestingly, on this list, there were many symptoms related to men's health. Um, so uh, problems getting erections, uh, other sexual problems. Also saw people much more commonly with high blood pressure ended up with uh, ankle uh, swellings and also some complaining of problems uh, with urination. Um, and we think these problems are e either because there's underlying heart problems related to the high blood pressure, or sometimes it could be uh, side effects due to the drugs need to reduce the um, blood pressure. So what this means is that high blood pressure isn't uh, related just to the classical symptoms of things like headaches and having strokes. It causes many other uh, individual problems. So how can you lower it? One way is to reduce salt intake. Um, and there've been many studies on this. Although it must be said, studies are conflicting um, about that, about how much that impacts uh, reduction in things like heart disease or strokes. But interestingly, uh, research published this week in a journal called Heart looked at 21 trials of uh, small trials added together of substituting um, regular salt for uh, potassium chloride, which is uh, which reduces it by about a third and found that across the board, it, it did tend to lower the blood pressure of participants. And in a small subset of that, it looked like the people who switched did reduce their risks of heart attacks and strokes um, and early death by about 11%. And heart disease was reduced by 13%. So this uh, was even up after you'd adjusted for other, other factors. So this could be, generalizable globally and does make um, a case for potentially uh, switching either everybody or some individuals with potassium-based salt substitutes. We don't know whether it's the potassium itself or um, it's the reduction in the, the sodium that's, that's important. So really important, and this is something that you can all get involved with and, and help sort out these, these public health issues. So in conclusion, um, this high blood pressure appears to affect many, uh, many people's health, particularly uh, men's health. It'd be a great, uh, if we can reduce this, the UK has one of the highest levels. We can do this either through possibly salt substitutes or reducing intakes. And I'll put a link in this about another article we've written um, to cover this in more detail. So do join the blood pressure study when you get your email. Uh, and uh, really important to look out for that. 
Good news is COVID is plummeting for the moment. Uh, and this could be for many reasons, but likely due to the small school summer holidays and people being outside more uh, and uh, less likely to infect others. Monkeypox leveling off in the UK, but rates increasing around the world. Do get a free vaccine if you're eligible. Keep an eye on all your symptoms uh, with COVID. These are recurrence. And as we look at the BA5 variant, and do make a note on the app if anything changes. So please remember to like and subscribe to our channel, share this app with friends and family, and finally, support science and keep logging.